Mama's boy Ben and Althea. He has a good job. He's not in any more debt than the rest of us. He has a very decent personality. And he doesn't look like the troll who lives under the bridge. Why? Why does he live at home with his mother? No, we're not talking about the ones who are genuinely caretakers to an invalid or sick parent or the ones who recently lost everything in a horrible divorce or anything of that nature. We're talking about the grown man with a job and a future that chooses not to move away from mommy, or worse still, moves back home because it's easier. It's drilled into a woman's head from birth that you can fix him up. Ladies, if you want to fix something, have your dog spayed or take an auto shop class and fix a carburetor. Grown men come fully fixed. The man who still feels the need to live with mommy will only come in handy for an occasional roll in the hay or rescue you when your car breaks down on the highway. He's good to me. He comes and helps whenever I need him, was always Althea's response to the question. Why him? Okay, but he didn't please her in bed. He'd spend endless sums of cash on gadgets, then complain about taking her out to dinner, and he lives at home in the basement with a sign on his door that says, Keep out. This means you, Mommy. Not that Mommy ever honored his demand. On top of that, he insisted upon only having sex at his, oops, I mean his mommy's house. We're not sure why. His mom, the type that looks like freshly baked apple pie but doesn't act that way. She feigns illness for her son's attention. She's made her son her man. Her man, the husband, she verbally abuses and ignores. She creates the can't-wait-until-he-meets-the-right-girl illusion but does everything in her power to make sure that no female stays around long enough to be described as right or wrong. Left would be a more appropriate description, as in, she left as quickly as I could run her out of his life. Mommy drinks the wine, eats the Chinese food, and chit-chats until she ruins anything that resembles a romantic mood between her son and the her of the moment. He wouldn't dare say a word to or against mommy. It's always, she needs me. She couldn't make it without me. I could never move away. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, mommy has the stamina of two bulls on crack. Being with yourself is not the worst thing that can happen. You have your own apartment or house. You work hard every day to pay your own bills. What's he bringing to your table? His utensil? Big deal. Or maybe not. He'll make a good friend, but not a boyfriend. The lesson, ladies? How desperate are you? You know that you deserve better. Fix yourself. In fact, fix yourself a nice dinner, watch a good movie, because competing with mommy is futile. It's her house. 